When we first started diving in the Asian Pacific, ghost pipe fishes ranked high on our must-see list of celebrity animals. The trick was finding them. During early visits, the fabled family of five species escaped our untrained eyes. But as we became more familiar with their nature, the ghosts began to appear and were more majestic than we imagined. Ornate ghost pipe fishes, the most iconic of the family, usually take on the color scheme of the crinoid or other complex habitat they adopt. Like the other ghost pipe fish species, they spend most of their short lives in the open ocean as bits of plankton before eventually settling into sheltered coastlines as wispy juveniles. On one extended dive trip, we were fortunate enough to follow a pair of young ornate ghost pipe fish males. Over a two-week period, we watched one of them transform into a female, complete with egg brooding pouch. Pairs of ornates not only tend to stay together, but also to stay put, feeding on an endless supply of zooplankton that drifts their way. Another species, the Halamita ghost pipe fish, tend to remain in or near the algae that they mimic. Two other family members, robust and rough stout ghost pipe fishes, live a more transient life, plucking tiny crustaceans off the seafloor. The species adapt their camouflage and behavior to match any number of habitats, sometimes blending in very well, and sometimes not. Recently, while working in an area of rubble and algae, we found a number of ghost pipe fishes, some dripping with filaments, the most outrageous we've ever encountered. Whenever we think ghost hunting can't get any better, it does. <laughs>